In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make five step ladder infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you the first step. You can see here the first step, a 3D shape with the option number one. You can add the title here, the icons, and then I've added the ladder here to climb this one. And then on the right side, I've added the detailed text. And on my next click, it will show me the step two with the different colors, with the different icon, or you can say the milestone two. And then you can see here, uh, this is the, the step three, the step four, and the step five. So step five, I have added two ladders here. Either you can go from the directly from three, four, and five, or from three to five directly. And apart from this one, I have created uh, without animation kind of slide with four options only. You can see here with the bigger options. And with this shape, you can do a lot of things like you can see here I have done something, a kind of shape like this also. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, go to insert shapes and select the rectangle, draw the rectangle. Maybe this much size, later on we can change the size shape outline make it no outline then go to insert shapes from the basic shapes select the parallelogram draw the parallelogram you can see here and then you can see a small orange point you can just adjust it you can see something like this then under format go to rotate just rotate left 90 degrees and then rotate you can just say flip vertical and again make sure that this is also no outline and just change the color to some other color and just place it here let me just zoom in you can see here and you can just adjust it with this one can you see here like this you can just adjust it and again if you want to reduce the size you need to adjust it again you can see here something like this so once this is done press ctrl d the other side you can see here bring it here again then rotate i'm just going to say rotate flip vertical and just put it here so you end up getting this shape and then i'm going to add one more rectangle go to insert shapes select the rectangle you can see here draw the rectangle covering this part let me just make it no outline and i'm going to give some dark color to this now it looks something like this then go to format send this to back so you can see here you end up getting a 3d shape here now it's time to change the colors i'm going to select this shape first right mouse click go to format shape and i can just select some good colors go to more colors you can select from here the custom or you can go to the standard and you can just select some good colors here for example i'm going to select this then here i'm going to select some lighter colors go to more colors and you can do some light colors here something like this and to repeat i can just press f4 key you can see here and let it be the dark color here and once this is done you can group it also or you can add the text and group it you can just go to text and i will just say that your title here make sure it is center aligned if you want you can make it bold bring it here in the center and you can make it a white font and increase the size if required and then i'm going to insert uh, text here also i'll just say zero one again center align make it bold maybe increase the size bring it here it uh, it's not fitting here properly i mean it's not uh, align it properly so we have to make sure that this is uh, aligned with the shape for that let me just go to text options you can see here and go to the text effects and go to the 3d rotation and from the presets you have got a different presets here you can see here you have got this you have got something like this so whichever you feel better which is matching with the shape you can uh, do it for example let me just select this one which is the isometric right up and then press ctrl d bring the other side and it is the again it is not matching then i'm just going to select this one here so you can see here it is perfectly matching here 
now once this is done select all or you can press ctrl a also and ctrl g to group it you just place it one here for example and if you want you can give some shadow effect also you can give some shadow effect which is offset top all right then where you want to place it press ctrl d for example i want to place one here all right ctrl d one more say here and ctrl d one more here or wherever you want you can just place it as per your requirement and then you can just come here select each one again go to more colors i can change the colors according to my requirement i'm going to select lighter colors here you can see here somewhat lighter colors again f4 key and here i am going to select more darker color for example this one so likewise you can just go and change the colors as per your requirement and change this option numbers also you can see here this is two this is three and this is four now again if you want to change some other colors let me just go more colors i'm going to select kind of a green color here for example let me just select this green and then on the sides i'm going to select some lighter greens here maybe this kind of colors we can see here make sure that the color combination should be looking good and go to this and i'm going to select some darker greens here so you can see here likewise you can just change the all the colors now once this is done it's time to add the ladder and before adding the ladder you can just change the background colors you can just select and give a like a gradient fill here you can see here any color you can just go and choose any color from here or you can use your own uh, background colors also now let me just add the ladder go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw a small you can see here this much size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill make it white press ctrl d to duplicate add one more here you can see here and then go to insert shapes i'm going to add a smaller one in the center again white no outline press ctrl d to duplicate this let me just bring some more down you can see here likewise you can just add few more here all right now once this is done select all press ctrl g to group it and you can give some shadow effect like this you can see here and hold the shift key and reduce the size and just put it here one press ctrl d you can put it one here again ctrl d you can add one here again ctrl d you can add one more here or whichever way you want you can just add it here so this is the way you can add the ladder now it's time to add the detailed text go to insert text and just you can add your detailed text in this case i can just say equals lorem within brackets so it will give me some latin text i can reduce the size you can see here 11 make it right align and if you want you can make it white font also not a problem press ctrl d and then you can add one here which is the left align again ctrl d you can see here you can add it here once and then ctrl d for this and you can add something like this so you can see here we have uh, added the text added the ladders changed the colors so the presentation is done and if you want you can do a simple animation effect to this also that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye